Hey everyone, this is a quick video on while submitting a template message, what all error messages you can get and how to rectify those. So let's go to manage, go to template message, click on new. For instance, I'm choosing marketing as a category. Language is English, template name is error test messages. I'm just using template type as text for simplicity. And this is the template format. So the first error that you can basically get is while submitting a template message is using these variables incorrectly. For example, I choose K. This should be ideally double curly braces. This is a sample product promotion uh, message for, let's suppose this is a sample message. And these are the sample values. name so if i submit this it will automatically get submitted properly but let's suppose you by mistake left one extra curly braces off and you try to submit it it will show you extra curly braces found in template format so whenever any error like this comes up it simply means that there has been either less curly braces or either more curly braces so you just need to make sure like you have double curly braces there it's not like you have just one curly braces it will again show you the same error so that is the first error that you can get second error is while submitting any template message there should be just one space line or none of the space lines but let's suppose by mistake you chose two space lines then again this will show you an error message that is consecutive empty lines are not allowed in template format. So you just need to go back and check out whether you have two space lines between any of those, those two lines and just make sure it is just one space line. After that, there could be one more uh, error message that you might face when you have exceeded the corrector limit. So the template message corrector limit is 1024 by meta. So you just make sure your corrector limit is within the same characters that the limit has been set. Next is basically in CTA buttons. Let's suppose I put in the sample value. So if I don't put in the sample value, it will ask me like, please provide sample values for all the parameters. I'm just putting up the sample value as product name. Coming next to the call to action buttons. So usually quick reply buttons are pretty straightforward. You just need to put in the text that can be acted as a quick reply button for the end user. The correct limit is 25. So every boxes will have a correct limit mentioned. So just make sure your, your text is within those correct limits. The next is call to action button, which could be in URL. So in URL call to action button, let's say a button title is book now. Now this button value need to be entered very carefully. First is it should be in the format of HTTPS colon forward slashes and then the URL. Well, let's suppose if I don't have HTTPS and I just put in www dot and I submit this, it will again throw an error, which is call to action field invalid, which is this. So if, even if you want to put www dot before that, you need to put HTTPS and colon and forward slashes in order to make sure the template is approved. So these are the major challenges or major error messages that you might get while submitting a template message. Every template message error is visible here and it will tell you like what exactly is the error. You just need to go back to your template message and make the changes accordingly. Thank you so much.